I'm here with Julio Green, an artist who has a collection called Spartacus, and he's finding new ways to make old objects fashionable. Tell me a bit about what, what you use. What inspired me was being so close to the um, rail tracks, mm -hmm. and uh, I found all these objects that, you know, they are recyclable, and that's what I ended up having, you know, the inspiration of it being recycled and, you know, usable. Exactly. Now these, um, the, the texture of the nail spikes looks really cool. Is that something that like plays a big part in this Spartacus collection? Yes, it's part of it is also my, um, how I, what texture I want to give beside the texture I have. So it's also uh, something adding of my style or my um, art in it. Tell us a bit about how you make this jewelry. It is, um, it's called forging or blacksmithing, mm -hmm. which is uh, a, um, you put the nail in the oven, which is uh, 90, 900 degrees, and then um, once it's red, you start pounding, either with a hammer or with an electronic hammer. After that, once you stretch it out, you cut it, make the measurement, and design what you want to, how you would like to do it. And how long does this process usually take to complete a couple of bracelets or a bracelet? Just one brace, one bracelet will take a matter of three hours. Okay. The idea comes with the forging part because it's, I like art talking to me. I love this and it's a great way to make something fashionable out of unexpected items. I want to thank Julio Green for sharing with us his art, his Spartacus collection. And you can find him at the Flagler Art and Technology Village in Fort Lauderdale. Today, Fashion Style Miami is all about sustainable fashion. Everything I have on from my earrings made by the wonderful Francisco Say What and my dress which is made from uh, recycled bottles from Alexander Gold Concept Store and this bracelet from the Spartacus collection of Julio Green. It's all about taking something and making it fashionable, giving something new life. He uses one of my favorite things, well, I love Coca-Cola, and he takes those uh, cans and turns them into amazing jewelry. So tell us a little bit about um, how you got into recycling and, and using that as art. But I wanted to do something to collaborate for the environment. The styrofoam didn't work too fragile, mm -hmm. and the cardboard didn't work, so then I selected the Coca-Cola can. At that time it was Coca-Cola, but now I use every can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to create my, my art. I've seen really creative things from a sculptural flamingo to uh, cityscapes made out of cans. I mean, you do so much. How did you, tell me a little bit about the things you made. Flamingos, they started with a fundraising years ago. Uh -huh. So people start knowing me by the flamingos. Uh -huh. So in my art, I still have to do flamingos. Like you have the Coca-Cola flamingo in, and you with some flamingos around. Mm -hmm. Then I have also my quail series that I love patterns. Mm -hmm. I love what you're wearing. I like uh, your, your chain, and then you even got earrings, and I picked up a few Christmas ornaments mm -hmm. myself. So I love the fact that you use the Coca-Cola cans. I use well, everything from the can. I don't, I save it, uh -huh. everything. So it's nothing get a waste, like the, like the mm -hmm. earrings, the soda tabs, yeah. the, you know, the rings. And I like people to have something from me, so that I will do the ornaments, I do the earrings, I do my art, but they're all part of art. I think it's beautiful and it's a great way to recycle into fashion. So we appreciate your time and we thank you guys for being here with Fashion Style Miami.